What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm in a bit of a predicament on this truck. You saw the last video. We got this thing completely stripped down. I actually went to do some suspension work and I thought I was going to be able to find everything I needed in town. But everybody was out of stock on everything I needed. So I had to order all the parts in and it's going to be probably a week or longer before I get that stuff in. So in the meantime, I figured I'm going to tackle the engine bay. So I know I said I wasn't going all out on this truck. I am going to go all out on the engine bay though. I do think it would be sweet to have kind of the old crusty, rusty body. And then you open the hood, kind of like opening a portal into another dimension. You open the hood up and it's just amazing. It looks perfect. Everything's painted, powder coated. I think that would be really, really cool. So that's what I'm going to get started with today. We're going to strip the whole bay apart. There's a little bit of rust, not that much, honestly. Very happy about that. Not much rust. We've got to fix. And then I'm going to throw a coat of epoxy primer on it, and then we're going to paint it. So here it is. We pretty much got to strip everything out of the bay, the brake system, the clutch system, um, all the wiring. I'm going to pull the whole front end off to the grill, headlights, all that stuff. Get this harness out of here. Basically strip the entire bay. The only rust is where the battery was and it's not even that bad. It's honestly, I'm so very surprised. I figured it was gonna be a lot worse. So we're gonna wire wheel that, do what we can to get that taken care of. And then we're gonna go through and paint it. Also some of these holes like over here, there's a lot of holes in the inner fenders. I might weld some of those up. I don't think I'll need a lot of them. Um, I'll probably leave some, like this one is for the coil. I'll probably leave some of that. But some of those holes I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna weld them up. Get those smooth. I want this bay looking nice. So we're gonna go through a couple extra steps and see if we can make this thing look sweet. So let's get to work stripping this thing down and get it ready for paint. All right guys, making some progress. Got all these holes filled in, sanded smooth. I scraped all of these uh, seam sealer out of here and reapplied it. I also seam sealed some of these down here. They're starting to rust in those little areas there. So got those seam sealed up. We are pretty much ready for primer on the engine bay. I'm gonna hit the bottom of the hood as well. And I am going to try this sandblaster 
pressure washer deal on paint. I've never tried it on paint. I've only tried it on aluminum. I don't think it'll take the paint off, but I do think it'll kind of etch into the rust and into the paint, kind of give it a scuff. I don't know. I don't really know what to expect. So I just want to try it out and see what it does. So let's go at it with that. And then, like I said, I want to get the bottom of this hood painted as well. Well guys, the sandblaster didn't work that great. You can see where I, sit, I sat on it for a bit. It actually took the paint off, but it was gonna take way too long to actually do anything. So I'm just gonna take my nylon brush, like I did the engine bay, hit everything, and the worst rusted spots, I'll come back through with like a wire wheel, something to hit those, get this all cleaned up, and get this thing ready for epoxy. I also did mask up the cab. We are ready to go here. So all we gotta do, finish up the hood and we can lay some epoxy down. One thing I decided to do real quick is I picked up some of this concrete and metal prep. So this is basically a rust converter. Um, I don't know if it says anything. Yeah, right here. So directions for rusted. If you wanna remove the rust, it says to brush it on full strength and let it dry overnight and then rinse it off or for treating metal for phosphatizing it basically it converts it into something stable enough to paint you just dilute it three to one spray it on and then wash it off after 15 minutes so what i'm going to do i'm going to mix some of this up and i'm just going to hit these areas maybe not that but some of these darker areas and up under here i wasn't able to get up in there and then along the back here and then in the bay there's right back here I want to treat that area and I'm going to treat that area as well. Yeah, I should have done it before seam sealer, but that's not going to be an issue. The seam sealer is going to be just fine. So I just want to make sure that we don't have any rust popping back through. So let's do that and then brake booster. I'm going to paint this as well. I can throw this in the sandblaster. So I'm going to mask off that mask off the back here. I'm going to give that a sandblast and I'm going to paint this at the same time.
All right, we got the primer laid down. I did two full coats on everything. Guys, I gotta say, I am done using Tamco. I have had so many issues with this stuff. I know it's probably hard to see on the camera. You can see it right here. There's a bunch of like, it's not fish eyes. It's not, I don't know what it is. It did the same thing if you remember when I painted the grill on my uh, four door. There was a couple other areas right back here. It did it as well. And then a little bit on the brake booster. I don't know what is going on. Yes, I did prep this stuff right. Yes, I know how to clean it. It was absolutely perfectly clean and it still did it. So every, it seems like every time I use this epoxy, I have some sort of problem with it. I am done with Tamco. I am not using that anymore. I'll probably throw that stuff in the trash. What I think I'm switching to is the dimension line from Sherwin Williams. So I got single stage for the bay and this I've heard really, really good things about Sherwin Williams. Obviously it's a huge, huge company. So I'm very excited to try that out. I've heard really good things about their clear coats as well. So that's what we are switching to as far as paint for this. And it's gonna go fine over this primer. One other thing I want to do. You can see some of the areas that I filled in. There's one right there. There's actually two right next to each other. Before I go and paint it, I'm actually gonna just do a little bit of filler, just skim coat it, smooth it out. I know it's gonna bug me, and I know it's gonna be so easy to fix right now. Just have to do a skim coat of filler and then let that dry up, and then we can just shoot a little bit of high build on top of it and go straight over that with our paint. So it's gonna be super easy to fix. There's another little bit right there. I knew I was gonna be able to see some of that, and I just like to get my epoxy on first over all the bare metal, and then I'll do my filler on that. So that's the game plan. We're gonna get out here tomorrow, do our fillers on these little spots, prime those one more time, and then we'll go through with the paint. we are gonna take a break for a second and talk about today's sponsor, Simply Carbon Fiber. So they sent over a couple things for me to try out. They sent this carbon fiber wallet. Now this is 100% genuine carbon fiber. It's lightweight, it's small, it's compact. You could fit everything you need in this little wallet. So I got, what, six cards in here right now. I think there's four or five bills. It's nice, it does, it's not big and bulky like your average wallet and you don't pack it full of unneeded crap like your conventional wallet. You keep what you need in here. Very nice and handy, nice and small, lightweight, and it's carbon fiber. Who doesn't like quality carbon fiber? Another thing they sent over is a phone case. This is just your typical carbon fiber weave. They actually have a few different designs of carbon fiber on these phone cases, and they have a phone case for just about every phone out there. Now this one has a rubber bumper around the whole edge of the phone, keeping your phone nice and safe. It is lifted up a little bit in the front to help protect the screen if it were to fall flat on the floor. And like I said, it's carbon fiber. Who doesn't love carbon fiber? Also, Simply Carbon Fiber has a ton of other accessories. They have watches, wallets, phone cases, sunglasses, a ton of stuff. If you guys wanna check it out, head over to Simply Carbon Fiber. You can also scroll down into the description box, first link in the description. And I also got you guys a discount code, saving you 10% using the code AN10. Well, that's enough chit chat, let's get back to work.
Well, there it is, guys. Bay is painted, looking amazing. Turned out good. I'm honestly happy with how that single stage sprayed. I could have went a little bit heavier. This laid out pretty good in the bay. Uh, could have went a little bit heavier on the hood. There's a little bit of orange peel, but I'm not too worried about it. It's the underside of the hood. Single stage generally doesn't spray as good as clear, but either way, I'm happy with how it turns out. But you guys kind of see what I'm talking about here. So we got, we got the old crusty truck, but then you come up here and just imagine a nice painted motor in here. I'm gonna try my best to kind of hide all the electronics. Well, what, what wiring and electronics we have the coil, igniter, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna do my best to kind of hide that. That's another reason I like to fill in all these holes. Now these square holes are for the fender wells, the inner liners, but instead of using the clips that stick up like three quarters of an inch, I'm gonna use a nice looking bolt and use a bolt on there. That'll look a lot better. But either way, I am stoked with how this thing looks. That is exactly what I was looking for, just a nice bright white. And with the booster, I've never, I just kind of winged it on the, color i figured it looked pretty cool being white and i'll have the black master cylinder on it i've never really seen someone match the booster to the bay color so i don't know we'll see once we get together i think i'll like the look well i am gonna wrap this video up here guys like always go drop a comment down below let me know what you think also drop any of your off the wall ideas i want to know what you guys think i want to hear some crazy ideas that we could do to this truck well i hope you guys enjoyed it go smash that thumbs up button we'll see you in the next one